Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours, morning prayer. It is Tuesday, March 16. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, we'll be using volume 2. It will be uh, the hymn is at 1535. First antiphon follows. The reading responsory will be in 297. The gospel antiphon as well. The canticle is 1051. Our hymn will be number 13. And the first antiphon is at 947. Reading 347. And the canticle at 691. Let us have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, Father, praise and glory, your children come to see. I will sing to you, O Lord, I will learn from you the way of perfection. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord, I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and hafty heart I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will, I will sing, sing to you, you O Lord. Lord. I, I will, will learn from, from you the way of perfection. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glory and O Lord the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. For you are just in all you have done, all your deeds are faultless, all your ways right, all and all your judgment proper. For we have sinned and transgressed by departing from you. And we have done every kind of evil. For your name's sake, do not deliver us forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one. To whom you promise to multiply their offsprings like the stars of heaven, or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, 
no holocaust, sacrifice, oblation, or incense. No place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were holocausts of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today, so we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Lord, Lord do, do not, not withhold, withhold your, your compassion, compassion from, from us. O God, I will sing to you a new song. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings people under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him, mortal man that you keep him in mind, man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a passing shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains. Wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings. Rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, I will sing a new song. I will play on the ten-string harp. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. O O God, God, I will will sing sing to you a new new song. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. We as parents, we have that natural love for our children. And because of this love for them, we are always gracious and merciful to them. Even when there are times that they hurt us, and nobody's perfect. We always want our children to safely come home and come back to us, return to us. God loves us. We are his children. Our Father in heaven loves us, and he wants us to return to him. That he gave us free will to choose to return to him. See, if we want to return to our Father, we'll do what it takes with our whole heart, fasting, and rending our hearts. The key to returning to Jesus is, is if we love Jesus, we end up loving what he loves, each other, especially the helpless. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. 
God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words and, and from, from the, the hunter's, hunter's snare. snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God, God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. snare. The man who cured me told me to pick up my sleeping mat and go in peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the man, man who cured, cured me told me to pick up my sleeping mat and go in peace. peace. God the Father has given us His only Son, the Word made man, to be our food and our life. Let us thank Him and pray. May, May the, the word, word of Christ, Christ dwell, dwell among, among us in all its richness. richness. Help us in this Lenten season to listen more frequently to your word, that, that we, we may celebrate the solemnity of Easter with greater love for Christ and our Paschal, Paschal sacrifice. May your Holy Spirit be our teacher, that, that we may encourage those in doubt and, and error to follow what is true and good. Enable us to enter more deeply into the mystery of your Anointed One, that, that our lives may reveal Him more effectively. Purify and renew your Church in this time of salvation, that it, it may give an ever greater witness to you. At this time, let's take a moment of silence and offer all our prayers to our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we gather all our prayers together with all the prayers and concerns of everyone praying with us this morning. We lift them up to you and we ask, Lord Jesus, that you hear and answer our prayers as we say. May the word of Christ dwell among us in all its richness. Jesus, you dwell among us. You taught us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, May our Lenten observance prepare us to embrace the Paschal mystery and to proclaim your salvation with joyful praise. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great, great day. day.